What is up guys, Enderx here, and I am back, and I am here with another random video. I know that this channel, uh, and this is this is what the video is about, um, if you haven't already noticed, I'm not exactly the best in-depth speakers, and there um, are obviously a lot of videos that are like this, um, in-depth looks at channels, right, years and years and years after they've been around. Um, which makes me sound old, even though I'm not. Um, but I did want to make uh, a bit of a, a dive into my content and how my channel has grown over the few years. If I had to start off with anything, it'd probably be the uh, beginnings, I guess. Um, obviously, growing up, um, my interest was in video games and YouTube. Um... Video games, obviously, Minecraft was probably my biggest inspiration to get into gaming. When I was growing up, I used to play on my dad's old Xbox 360, and he used to have a bunch of games in there. One of them was Minecraft, and uh, I remember having a world that I could probably boot up and show today, um, where I built this castle, and, um, and I don't necessarily remember the first world, but I do remember one world. Um, and I remember back in the day that uh, Minecraft and Mojang released these uh, Minecraft handbooks. They were like creative books that uh, if you followed along with the instructions, you could make these contraptions that were shown in the book. I remember I tried to make a uh, castle wall and uh, it didn't really pan out very well, but I still enjoyed it and I still finished it. And it, it took me a while, but the point was Minecraft got me into gaming. And ever since then, um, as I was growing up, I've always been plunged more and more into gaming. Now, in the uh, my as far as my experience on the internet goes, um, my first experiences with the internet were Minecraft parodies of famous songs, like uh, popular songs around that time. So that's how I got into YouTube, and then eventually I found Dan TDM, and uh, he is probably what my biggest inspiration for wanting to become a YouTuber and what progressed me into the YouTuber scene that I eventually found myself very interested in. Now, a lot of this stuff is early 2012, 2013 stuff. And uh, obviously, as I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to make a channel. I didn't have a device to do it on. Uh, the biggest thing I had was an iPad that barely worked and, uh, well, just... Um, a lot of free time on my hands. I was never really a busy person. I, I still not. I'm still not really a busy person, um, even though I'm more dedicated to YouTube. But basically, throughout the years, 2012, 2013, 2014, as I was growing up, going through elementary school, I watched a lot of Dan TDM. Um, but it started in 2015 when I really started to branch out and find other creators. At that time, and I remember. Some of the few that I was uh, really into was the was D Live two two eight nine one, um, Corey Kenshin obviously, and uh, a little bit of PewDiePie. It was well around that time, um, and D Live specifically is really who I watched the most, along with the ATM and obviously, and eventually. I began to watch a lot of Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, of course. Everybody's watched them. But that was around the 2016 time. And my parents were still a little bit iffy about me being so interested in YouTube. But I was like, man, this is something I want to do. But I never really got the chance to do it until around 2018. Um, and this is around the time when I was able to get my um, own iPad or... I'm not sure the circumstances of how I got it, but the point was I had an iPad and uh, I used my grandma's email to start a YouTube channel and that YouTube channel was called Enderman21 and that is where I started this journey five years ago or later to this day. And uh, from Enderman21, which by the way is still up and I'll be sure to link it in the description, I mostly just recorded random videos of... Um, any uh, video game uh, that I felt interested in. I tried making these really, really bad um, uh, uh, presentations, really bad, like, uh, ranking lists, you know. 
Um, I, I never, obviously never had a focus and I, I don't really, I mean, I'm still trying to find my focus nowadays, but now and then, now back then I just thought it would be a lot easier to grow an audience if I just did a bunch of random things, I suppose. Uh, in the Ender Matoy one days, I didn't have a editing software or anything. All I could do was hit record and that would be it. And, um, but I, I gotta say a lot of those videos is very nostalgic. It brings a lot of... It's like a genuine kid happiness you feel when you're watching these old videos that you know. Yeah, man. Like, I, I was the one who did this, and I'm proud of myself for doing it, you know? And uh, I feel really grateful that I had the opportunities to do that. And I uh, obviously grew up with one of my uh, best friends at the time, and all of all time, uh, a WUP 766. He was always there for me. And, uh, well, I basically grew up with him, and so did my YouTube channel. I mean, I always tried to having him in there, and, um, he's in a lot of those videos. But, eventually, um, my grandmother was very displeased with me using her email to have that channel, so unfortunately, I had to get kicked off of it. And so the channel was, um, abandoned at that point. And that is when I made my own email started this very channel and you know obviously at the start I thought I was gonna just continue doing mobile game um, videos and stuff like that but it quickly transitioned to um, computers I managed to find this really really old laptop Windows 7 or something like that and um, all I wanted to do was do PC gaming which, some, which is something I, I had never done before um, I'm a massive console person and I thought, well, I will be able to do so much more if I have a computer. So I grabbed this really old Windows 7 laptop from the garage of my house. And I just plugged it in, turned on the camera, and uh, we started playing Slendy Tubbies 3. And that was my first ever PC game, I think, on the channel was uh, Slendy Tubbies 3. That's where I met Cool Cat Jake, another good friend. Um, and, uh, well, I gotta say, it was probably one of my favorite first videos ever to have on a YouTube channel. I mean, it is just so nostalgic to go back and just witness how childish we sounded, how very high-pitched we were. It's like, wow, there was no problems in life. And, and it's just, it's just, it's nice. It's nice. I still didn't really have a focus, and I think for that entire year of 2020 to 2021, I believe, it was mostly just aimless, very low-quality content um, of just me gaming and doing random things. I remember streaming uh, Five Nights at Sonic's, doing a stream with my sister, um, not having a... a a freaking device to stream my console to my computer which I always wanted I still don't have by the way but back then my solution was to point my very very low quality camera at my uh, monitor screen as you can imagine it, it doesn't look very good um, and I was looking back at those streams thinking wow that's that's what it was like back in the day uh, I, I looked back when I had purple hair I looked back when I tried doing the green screen and it looking terrible, but then eventually I gave up on it. And uh, I remember just, I just remember, I just love watching, looking back and seeing how much fun it was at that time. And it's like the very, very childish part of me was still there. And, and obviously it is still here, but you know what I mean? Like, it's like, wow, that was just a child playing with a computer. And obviously the biggest leap in the channel was uh, when I hit uh, high school. Um, and more specifically when I started my uh, Discord server. Now, um, during the olden days, olden days, um, I did have a YouTube or a Discord channel or server. Um, but it was never active and it never popped off. Um, the one exception to that being a uh, World of Tanks server that I made. And this was the, like one of the first ever servers I made um, on Discord. And I had, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. But it was called a chilling domain. And um, I just used it for uh, World of Tanks Blitz training rooms. Get inside training. 
That was my only experience on Discord up to this point. When I reached high school, when I'm, I'm pretty sure I was like the later half of uh, middle school because COVID just started. Um, I started watching this commentary channel, a dumpy, and uh, more specifically, I tuned in like right about when the whole PNG tuber war thing that he milked for fucking ages. I joined during that whole mess, and I was really active in the community. And that's where I met a lot of my current friends, and uh, that's how oppressed people as a Discord franchise basically got started, and that was my leap into high school and the leap into the uh older version of uh, this the channel obviously as i started to uh edit my videos i started to make a lot of videos on the discord server and um the environment changed a lot it was it was no longer just me and my one friend playing random games it was me and an entire server playing games and uh eventually started editing shit too and it was really popping off at this time. And uh, it was uh, very nice to have. And I think that's when we passed 50 subscribers. Then we passed 100 subscribers. Then we passed 130. Um, and then we passed 150 around the uh, end of its... Uh, uh, around the end of OP's lifetime. And um, obviously the main focus of this is OP itself. Oppressed People was my big hit as a Discord server. It was everybody I'd met at Dumpy. We all um, came together to make a Discord server. Black Ben, I have to give the most props to. He's probably the most realist person I've ever met on Discord. The person I knew I could trust in, um, in pretty much every single situation. He helped me make that server, and he absolutely made that server what it was. And at the height of its popularity, it had over 200 members in the server. And um, it was a really fun community. And, um, you know, there was a lot of drama later on, but I feel like the first OP was just fun. And it shows because um, a lot of the content around that time was really popping up. I was starting to get a lot of views. Obviously, I passed 50 subs. And once I passed 50 subs, it was like a rocket. I just started pumping content. And there was there were issues. And... Um, one thing I, I did want to, to talk about is how Discord affected me mentally at that time. So, at that time, everybody knew me as a weirdo, I guess. Everybody disliked me, but they couldn't give me a real reason. And um, the same kind of thing applied into high school. Unfortunately, I like to voice my different opinions with different people. And um, unfortunately, when a lot of people disagree with you, uh, bad stuff can happen. Um, but on Discord, I felt it was a lot easier to blend in with people. And I eventually found a community that I really, really, really enjoyed being a part of. That was Oppressed People. It was something that I made. And at this time, there was no need for school. I only went there just to go there. I wasn't trying in any of my classes. I was more worried about how was OP doing, or how how was everybody doing, and I I felt it was just so entertaining and fun to talk to them over anything else. Well, obviously, except eating, but you know what I mean. Like, it was just the best time of my life. Unironically, was Discord. Um, and unfortunately, though. Once the first server got nuked, and we kept remaking the server, eventually my mental state began to deteriorate because um, the drama in the server would continue to ramp up and ramp up and ramp up to um, very bad degrees. And eventually there was, at some point later on, a civil war where me and Ben split up um, because of issues that we just had that we gained from the servers. and. Uh, Obviously, nowadays, um, with oppressed people finally being killed and we're not going to retake it back, you know, we're all healed and we're all mature now. But I did just want to talk about it because I don't realize how much I depended on Discord mentally. And, you know, now that I don't need it as much and it doesn't impact me as much, it's just 
it's nice to talk about what it was like back then. And I am still grateful and I'm, I don't regret anything because if I had, I wouldn't be here. And uh, you guys wouldn't be here either. So I'm glad it happened. And um, I think um, I'm ready to grow up, so, sort of say. I'm ready to focus on school. I'm ready to focus on my life. I'm ready to, you know, make an attempt to do better as a human being. Um, and uh, try to become a better person, so to speak. And, you know, I just wanted to make a, a video talking about my feelings on my channel. Um, you know, and the uh, effects that my in my life you know affected me and things and mostly just concerning the channel and the discord server i didn't want to talk about anything too personal one announcement i did want to make is that uh i'm probably never going to show my face on the channel uh again uh or at least until i graduate or uh, at some other point i don't know but unfortunately um i have been the target of a lot of harassment for having different opinions than other people People have made up uh, stories about me. They called me, they accused me of things that weren't true. Um, I got doxxed by people. Um, I have an entire group uh, from school that um, try to be in my YouTube comments saying, hello, your full name from this school. And they'll do it in the server and stuff. And with OP finally dead, I could obviously rest easy, but, you know, it's just one thing is that we've had to get the police involved. And unfortunately, I can't really exist online anymore with people knowing what I look like. And, um, and I just really want to sort of tone it down a little bit. Um, obviously, I do want to focus on YouTube a lot more, and I want to try to grow this channel as best as I can. Um, to the best of my abilities and um i really want to be a youtuber i want to have a community um that's so that that vibes well you know what i mean and oppressed people was nice but i'm wondering what's the next big thing for this channel and for me and um that's really about it so yeah that's uh really all this video uh was and I know I ramble a lot and I'm not really uh, coherent. I'm not the best public speaker. But um, if you did uh, watch to the end, uh, I appreciate you. And uh, I thank you for watching. If you did watch to the end, be sure to comment pickles uh, for no particular reason. Just, just, you know, a test, I guess. I appreciate all of my viewers, all of my subscribers. Even if you're here for trolling. Um... At the end of the day, if none of this would have happened, I would be the same person I am now. I wouldn't be the same person I am now, and I'm, I'm glad it happened, and uh, I'm willing to grow up, I guess. So, to the younger people, if there's any watching, just enjoy the things that make you who you are, because you'll miss them when they're gone. Thanks for watching. Keep it safe. Peace.